Hello everybody, welcome back to Screen Stars. I'm here today to bring you my review for the 2019 horror mystery thriller I See You, a film that is directed by Adam Randall and it stars Helen Hunt, John Tenney, Owen Teague and Judiah Lewis. Right, this is actually quite a difficult film to explain. Um, this film focuses on a family, the Harper family. You've got the mother played by Helen Hunt, the father played by John T uh, Tenney, and the son played by uh, Judai Lewis. Um, they are an estranged family. Uh, we learn that the mother has recently had an affair that has torn the family apart. They're still trying to make a go of it, the mother and the father, and the son is very, very bitter towards his mother. The father, Greg, is a police detective, um, and the mother, I think he's some, some kind of psychologist, something like that, a psychiatrist. Um, and this is all at the backdrop of a, a slew of local children going missing. Um, and the father, he, as he's a police detective, is put on the case. Um, and then seemingly... At the house they are living at, strange occurrences start happening in the house. Doors closing um, when there's no one there. Uh, things go missing. Um, things are moved around. All this kind of stuff uh, that leads you to believe that there is something supernatural happening. And then the second half of the film takes place that flips everything on its head and gives you a completely different film stroke story than you were expecting as the film is told from a completely different perspective so one half of the film or a little bit less you get this harper family's perspective and the second half of the film is told from a different perspective and then they both by the end of the film kind of combine to give you a conclusion to the film that honestly is the best way I can describe this film without giving spoilers away because wow um, this film is quite expertly put together to present one thing but give you another and to be honest I quite like those type of films because uh, initially the, the, the start of this film uh, it wasn't really gripping me I mean the mystery of these kids going missing and the fact that it what was seemingly going on in the house was kind of keeping my interest going and then when the film flipped i was like oh goodness me we get a completely different film here uh, from what i was uh, expected um and i liked that i don't think some people will like it i think some people will feel a little bit um duped maybe i'm not really sure but i like a film when they do this when they kind of you know um give you one show you one thing and then give you another um if it's done well it can make for a very effective film and and i think this film does that because you've got all sorts of elements here you've got a, a broken family a disjointed family rebellious son you've got children going missing you've got um all sorts of stuff going off. You've got a serial killer in the background and seemingly potentially supernatural stuff going off. There's all these ingredients and more thrown into a pot and stirred up. Some of it works, some of it doesn't. I think that is fair uh, to say. Not all of it works. Um, some of the things that really don't work for me is, and it feels weird to say this, is Helen Hunt. Now, if you're not sure who Helen Hunt is, Helen Hunt is a very talented actress. It was in things like Twister, she won an Oscar for As Good As It Gets. She was in What Women Want with Mel Gibson. Um, and she's an incredibly talented actress. But she's not given enough to do in this film, really. She spends most of the film kind of daydreaming through it. And that's not her performance. It's the fact that she's, you know, she's on like um, tranquilizers almost to kind of, you know, hears her way through life because she's just not enjoying herself and not enjoying a marriage so on and so forth and a rebellious son but I, I i just felt by the end of the film there was a point in this film a cut-off point in this film where you're kind of thinking where's helen hunt is she not in this film anymore um and that just felt a little bit odd because by the end of the film you really wanted to see and feel the impact of the events with all the key players here um, and I don't necessarily think it 
we got that by the end, so it kind of reduced the impact. So I don't think the Helen Hunt part worked. Um, there's a, a couple of other things worked uh, didn't work as well, um, but I, I, I can't really discuss them because it'll, like I say, it'll probably take me into spoiler territory. Um, but I, I think if you like a film that's going to kind of keep you on your toes, keep you guessing, um, present one thing and then give you another. Um, and you don't mind that the film it turns into is not the film that you thought you were watching, then you're probably going to quite enjoy this one. I thought it was quite inventive and creative, um, thrilling at times. Um, it was There was some good elements of tension here. Uh, but it, it's a film that kind of false... It, it's a film that almost falsely advertises itself. Um, and it's not an easy film to sell. You know, if you watch the trailer or anything like that, it's, again, the trailer presents one thing. It's just not an easy film to sell. Um, because, like I say, an audience member is going to go in there thinking they're getting a certain thing and they're not getting that. So I, could, I can understand why I've not necessarily heard of this film. Um, I was made aware of this film a couple of weeks ago, and I, I genuinely can't remember what it was. It, might, it was probably somebody doing an analysis or something on it on YouTube or something like that, and I can't remember, and that's usually what sparks my interest in a film that I haven't seen before, something like that, some, a recommendation from somebody, or I'll see something on YouTube that sparks my interest, and that's what it was. Um, and it's a film that surprised me that I missed it at the time, um, because it's a film that, is quite up my street, but it's definitely not for everybody. This one, I think this body will. Gr this film will probably grind some people's gears. Um, but for me, I thought there were elements of it that were quite inventive and creative. Um, but it's it's not without its faults. There are pacing issues, um, all the rest of it. But yeah, I think it's a film that may certainly interest you. Um, check it out if you get the opportunity. I see you. Um, and yeah, I hope you found my review useful. I will, of course, be back with loads more reviews and content on the channel very, very soon.